What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. I have another lead code SQL problem for you. Part of SQL 50, marked as easy, but it uses a concept that I use almost every day at my day-to-day -day work, and you should really know it if you're planning to work as a data scientist, data analyst. So let's get into it. This one is called Patience with a Condition. It's numbered 1527. Marked as easy is part of SQL 50's advanced string functions and regex clause section. So this one teaches a concept that is very important and it relates to that section title. We have one table that's called patients. It has a patient ID, patient name and conditions, which lists the conditions that the patient has. Our task is to write a solution to find the patient ID, patient name and conditions of the patients who have type one diabetes. Type one diabetes always starts with DIAB1 prefix. Return the result table in any order and the result format is in the following example. So we would have patient IDs, which would just be an integer patient name, just the first name, but we're really interested in the conditions column. So Alice, for example, doesn't have any conditions. Good for Alice. Daniel has cuff and something else, while Bob has DIAB100, which starts with DIAB1. So this is a type or a variation of type 1 diabetes, apparently. So we would want Bob in our output because Bob has type 1 diabetes. Then we would also want George in our output because George also has type 1 diabetes. Same variation, apparently. So there's another patient called Alain who has type 2 diabetes, as it seems, judging from this logic, because the condition has the abbreviation DIAB201. So we would only want to output people that have type 1 diabetes and their condition might be listed anywhere in that list of conditions. So it doesn't have to be at the start of that conditions string column. It could be anywhere in there. And that's where we need to use our SQL skills to select only those. So let's get into our coding. We will start out selecting what we want as our output column, which is pretty much matching the input. So we want to pretty much select star. We want to select patient ID, patient name and conditions. So all of the columns that are in the input data. So let's say select star here from patients. And now it's really about how we filter out or filter to these type 1 diabetes patients. So the operator I wanted to talk about, the concept I use that often in SQL and in my day-to-day -day work is the like operator or the I like operator. Might have heard this, this one also used in Python. This one allows you to search for a string having a certain substring. So in this case, the conditions column, the sentences in there, or basically that list of characters, which is a string what sort of sub part is in there. So you kind of, you are able to search for certain parts within that column value and then filter to rows where this is true. So in our example, we would want to only output rows where the conditions column value has DIAB1 in there. So we could do something like work conditions like, and then specify what we want to be in there. So usually I use this in combination with the percentage sign, which is a wildcard to specify that this could be anything and anything should be followed by DIAB1, which is what we're uh, searching for. And then another percentage as a wildcard or indicator that this could be anything following DIAB1. It could be DIAB 100, it could be DIAB 101, 102, it could be DIAB 1, and then just random letters. 
but basically we want the string to contain the AAV one. So yeah, let's actually run this and see what it does. Usually I'm using I like, which is a variation of like that is not case sensitive. So you would catch you would catch rows that are in this example containing DIAB1, but it would be lowercase, just the first letter capitalized. So yeah, this is easier to work with unstructured data, or you don't know exactly whether it is capitalized always or it's user input data and they might do whatever. You could also use the lower function. You could say lower of conditions, which would make the column value lowercase and then do the comparison. But yeah, this is sort of digressing from the task that is at hand. So if we use this expression, we filter to rows that have DAV1 in the conditions column in that uppercase writing. So we get the expected output, but if I submit this, this may not be accepted based on the test cases they have set up for this one because yeah, you could have the case where DIAB1 is part of another condition, in this case, SADIAB100. And yeah, you would pick it up because I have this percentage sign which says there could be anything before DIAB1. And in this case, this is one example of there being anything before DIAB1. So since we want to search specifically for DAB1 and nothing before that, so it could be at the start of the string, we would want to remove that first DI, uh, that first percentage before DAB1. And now this would only pick up conditions that start with DAB1 and then have anything after it. So this should pick up columns like Bob or rows like Bob, patients like Bob, where DIAB100 or the diabetes condition of type 1 is listed first in the conditions uh, column value. So as you can see in the output, this only picks up Bob because Bob has DIAB100 listed first. Now George should be in our output, but it's not included because the list of conditions starts with acne and not DIAB100. And yeah, this would only pick up DAB100 or just values that start with DAB100. So in order to catch that second case where the diabetes condition is listed, not as the first condition, we can add to our word filter and say conditions could also be like anything in this case, acne, and then a space, and then DIAB1 to say, yeah, there could be anything before that, any other conditions. Then there would be a space indicating that there would be a new condition. And then, yeah, we would want to have that DIAB1 code for type 1 diabetes. Then let's include our percentage sign after that again, because there could be any other conditions listed after that as well. So it could be acne, DAB 100, and then cough for patient. And we would still want to pick that up. So yeah, let's run that. And submit it. And that should do the trick in terms of picking up both of these cases and we have an accepted solution. So took a bit longer to cover this one just because I wanted to go through how like works and I like works just because I use it a lot. You can think of it like a command F, control F search function on your computer that you can use to search through values that should be in a column. I sometimes would use this if I have a table that has a list of different events in there of things happening in an app or on a website. I would search for the event name to be like 
percentage, onboarding percentage to get any kind of event that happens during the onboarding process or related to location data or anything like that and really makes it easy to look through what's available in the data. And if you're combining that with that I like operator or just the lower function to make everything lowercase, you should be able to pick up a lot and it really helps you to explore data if you don't know exactly the format of values that are in there. So hope this one helped. Give this one a try or just play around with the like operator and I'll see you in another video. I'm going through all of SQL 50 on this channel. So I have the playlist linked here. And apart from that, make sure to subscribe to see these videos pop up in your subscription feed and home feed. And apart from that, that's going to be it for today. Bye-bye.